Hello, ETE teachers. This is your uh, reach update. I know this is kind of non-typical and there's a whole bunch of these that you guys have probably been watching. Uh, so I appreciate you coming out and uh, spending some time with me, time with me this morning. Um, I am uh, happy to be here. I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the things that are going on in ETE. I know there's probably some questions with changes in my job position and job title. So uh, without any further ado, I hope you guys are safe and well and getting uh, excited about a school year, even if it's in a different kind of format or different kind of structure. Um, but we got some great things going on here in the division and within the ETE, and I'm looking forward to spending a little time with you here today. So as you might have heard, um, we've changed uh, the structure around a little bit here in the office. Um, we've rearranged positions and titles. Uh, Donna Orr is now over in um, professional development. Uh, Adrian San Miguel is over program services. So we brought together um, the program quality, the CTSO managers, uh, the federal and related programs all under one director um, and have created these smaller subdirector positions, um, assistant director. So James uh, is over the federal programs. Um, Lisa Costa is over the uh, student leadership programs as the assistant director, and I am the assistant director of program quality. So um, my roles and responsibilities, I've kind of dropped off out of that senior PQM position. Um, so I won't be dealing with just grants and stuff. I'll be looking at added costs and some CTS schools and other things like that. So it's just changed my structure a little bit. I'm still going to be over ETE and managing the ETE program. So you guys are, are still stuck with me for another few years. Um, so don't so if you have questions about what's going on or your programs i'm still your contact person within the division um, as i manage the pqm team um, as we go forward and so adrian is my is my direct report for me now um, he is my supervisor and we're looking forward to some great things and developing some some great things for you as teachers and to, just to spend uh, some good time uh, supporting you and uh, giving you some quality support um, just a quick recap on kind of where ETE is. Uh, we currently have an enrollment of about 15,000 students uh, this year. That's 16% of all of the students in CTE uh, sit within our ETE program. So that puts us as the uh, fourth largest program uh, here in the division. And that's, I think, a good place to be. And uh, so we're doing great things. We've got a lot of good students and you guys are doing good work. Um, just some programs of work, things that we're going to be working on this year. Uh, we tried to do standards uh, through an online re review process. It didn't really work out very well. Um, so we're kind of coming back around and we're going to try to do standards review uh, in kind of a virtual format. We'll set up some Zoom meetings. Um, we're actually working with some new tools through LinkedIn to get, identify additional industry partners. It's one of the areas we've kind of struggled in is getting the industry at the table with us. Um, and so we're going to use some new tools. We're going to try to do these things in a little bit different format, maybe looking at industry and getting their, their pain points and understanding what their comprehensive needs are and what their, what their true needs for learning is for students and then kind of build those into our standards as we go on through that process. So the ones that I'm going to be working on this year are going to be drafting a design, pre-engineering, graphic design, networking, programming, web design, and computer support. Um, and then we're looking at some pathway development pieces of parts. Um, cybersecurity is one. There's some others that are out there that we haven't really fleshed out yet. Maybe uh, some precision uh, ag or UAV kind of stuff. Um, so there's three or four. We do have some new processes in place for that. We have a new and emerging pathway. So if you guys know of a new and emerging pathway, we have kind of a, um, a ranking document to kind of look at what's the industry need, you know, how many, how, how many job openings are there just to gather some basic information um, that we would love to work through that process with you on. So if you do know of uh, an area that we should think about or an area that your TAC has said, hey, we'd really love you guys to do this, um, let us know so that we can work through that together and develop some new programs and pathways as we go forward. Um, we are gonna be reviewing these, looking at these through the lens of industry a little bit. Um, to help us know that, you know, is the pathway the correct pathway? Does it need to be tweaked some? Is there a new name for it? You know, course structure, those sorts of things. And so um, just be mindful that uh, we are going to get this work done. Um, we won't start it probably till November, uh, just to give you guys a chance to settle into 
whatever your new norm is going to be for the year. So that's what we're going to be working on together as a group and together as a team. And I look forward to this work. So if you're interested, let me know. Um, I'll send out probably a, a interest survey just to kind of say, hey, if you want to be involved in these, um, let me know and you know, pick, pick the one you're going to be and then your contact information so that I have that list developed. So be watching for that as we go forward. Um, just a few things that might affect you uh, this year. Um, added cost is changing a little bit. Uh, we're actually in the process of reviewing FTE currently. Um, the FTE report from last June um, and comparing it to uh, what was funded last year just to see if there's any differences. Um, if there are differences, we're already starting to reach out to districts to kind of hopefully get those differences uh, fixed before the October upload, excuse me. Um, so that's going to be changed a little bit so that you get 70% of your funding in the fall and then 30% in the spring. Now, just a note on added cost. We send a pot of money to your district um, for them to distribute to the CTE programs. The idea is that you guys work together to figure out what the money, what money needs to be spent where and how it needs to be spent. Um, so if you're if you're not getting money, you can let me know. Um, but really, I would encourage you to work with your district uh, CTE administrator if you have one um, to kind of look at those dollars and how they're being spent. Um, we are going to get back out and do program reviews, so if that's something that comes up. Um, let me know and uh, you know we can come out and if you want a technical review or if you want to do have a program review this year let me know i know some schools aren't letting us into schools um, those are things that we need to ask but you can always ask for us to come out we have a new process for that and new form um, so we will be working through that as well this year so the a couple other things gear funding we did receive um, some money from the federal government down to the state which has been passed on to us we are finalizing uh, those online resources and resources for you. I hope to have those identified and hopefully purchased here before the end of August um, so that you guys can have those resources for your classrooms as you move into um, possible virtual, possible hybrid, possible face-to-face. -face. They're all good tools and all good things that you can be using um, for your programs. Uh, I will be doing um, I'm going to start with just one and see how many people come and if there's a need for it. Uh, but I kind of a, one of the requests from you guys for reach was to just have some time to sit down and talk about what went well, what didn't go well last year, opportunities to network. Um, we didn't get that because reach was canceled. So um, what, what I want to try to do is um, have a, Bi-weekly or monthly Zoom meeting. We'll see how often you guys want to start meeting. Um, those will be some questions that come out uh, to you. Um, but I'm going to do one Thursday, August 20th at 3.30. I'm trying to pick up North Idaho, which is in a different time zone. Um, I might move that to four. But for the first one, that's going to be it. Um, so that just be a chance for you guys to come together as a group of educators to say, hey, this is working well, this is not working well, these are the struggles I'm having, so that I know how to help serve you this year come up going forward. Um, also, let me switch my screen here really quick. Um, we have a new website, so I want to share that with you. Um, there is. So this is the new website. Um, that you guys will see, um, click the share button, there we go. All right, so this is the new website. Uh, we are, um, we roll that out, it's live. It does have a couple little quirks in it. Uh, some of the links are not rolling over, but we're fixing that. So I kind of wanted to walk you through a few features of this just so you're aware of what um, is on the website and what some of the tools are for you to use. Excuse me, good gravy. Um, so if you're looking for information on the programs, you would, this is the, there's two sides to this. There's a, there's a forward facing, which is really for students and parents and um, teachers and uh, industry. Um, but there's some of the information there is not necessarily the same stuff that you guys might need as teachers. So I'm going to show you the two sides of it um, and how you get access to both. Um, so when you first go to ct.idaho.gov, uh, this is the website, this is the page that shows up. Um, if you're looking for information on your program, you'll just click on program, 
So you click under career areas is where, where they have it labeled now. And you can come down here to engineering technology ed. And when we get in there, um, there's my contact information. There's Jacob's information. He is my assistant. Um, this, this links you out to Idaho TSA, uh, the CTSO website where you guys can get all the information you need about what's going on with TSA. Uh, there's the national TSA link and then how to become a CTE educator. Um, all of our pathway sequence documents will be loaded up here. I've got to finish uh, getting those to Tanya to upload. Um, but the assessment results and data, if you're looking for uh, standards and that sort of stuff, they all sit right here underneath my program area. So here's all of the standards, the criticality surveys, uh, the district results, the results by standard um, for you guys to use in, in your programs and, and where we're at and, and where uh, you, can, you can use this information to kind of develop your, your teaching and to improve what we're, we're doing out there and where, where we're at kind of as a group within those standards. So those, that's where all of that information is. Um, if you're looking for, um, there's information here on Perkins, on Skillstack, uh, program alignment, student orgs, uh, adult education, um, secondary education. So the assignment manual and IC codes are all right here under secondary education. You can click on assignment manual and IC resources um, and that pulls up this. Uh, you've got the PDF and you've got the, the spreadsheet um, that you can search what you're able to teach with your endorsements and there's been some ch number changes and other things like that so if you have issues with endorsements please again let me know um, now the other side of this up here top you've got a calendar news contact etc um, but there's one here called teacher portal and if you click on that um, it brings you out to this site and when the first time you do this you got to go through these instructions and you got to set up an account um, to get you access in um, based on what your role is. So if you say I'm a teacher, it enrolls you in certain things. So I'm gonna log in really quick. I wanna show you one other tool that we're putting together for you. Um, um, hope I remember my password. So, yeah, looks like I did. So I remember my password, that's good. So one of the things you'll need to do when you first get in, this will be kind of what it looks like for you. Um, there's this, this, you need to click on the CTE discussions and you'll click here and you'll want to enroll in this course. So you have to hit subscribe and enroll. And then once you do that, you're done here. This, that's, that's the only step you have to do for that one. Um, so you have all these tiles that you're gonna be working with. Um, and if you, if you teach for IDLA, you'll recognize this. This has helped, uh, they helped us build this with their tiles. Um, so once you enroll in this discussion, one of the things I want you to pay attention to is this Alliance CT discussions. Um, and this is another spot where we've tried to come up with ways to help teachers out with um, uh, the ability to put in some requests and maybe get some feedback. We'll be monitoring this as we go. So you could say, boy, I'm really, I'm really struggling with some tests and quizzes and I need some help. So you can come out here um, and you can write a comment. You can sit here and go, I need some help with a test in this, this area, this kind of, this, this standard. Does anybody have anything they're willing to share and post it? And once you post it, um, hopefully uh, others are monitoring this. I can look at it. I can send out an email to the group. Um, but this will be a chance for you guys to come together to post comments, to post questions, to post, um, hey, I need some help with resources, I need some other additional things to kind of let us know where things are at. And this will be what I'll use to look through um, for the monthly meetings as we get together. Um, I'll probably use some of this to help guide some of the discussion or to say, hey, there's been some requests, can you guys help this other teacher out? So what we're trying to do is just community, this community of learners, this community of educators, um, for all of you. Um, so be sure you take advantage of that as much as possible. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm gonna take a drink of my coffee. So that's a that's a portal, that's the piece that's out there. Um, the other website I wanna show you that has changed um, is TSA has created a whole new website. Um, and there's a lot of good resources out here as well for you as an administrator or as a 
an advisor for TSA. So if you're not an advisor and you haven't registered, the only way to get access to this resource is to register. So this is what the new page looks like when you go out to, to log in. Um, Log in. I'm going to show you a couple of things. Um, if you watch the CTSO updates, you'll see the same thing. It's a highlight of that, but I think if we repeat, we're okay. There we go. So when you come out, you're going to have all these new tabs. Well, I don't know what your, your side looks like. This is what mine looks like as a state advisor. Um, but under the total TSA tab. They've created some really great resources for both you and your students, but the only way to get access to this is to register. A registration is open now. You can go in and you can register. You can register a few of your kids. You can get access to some of these other resources that TSA has developed for you to help start integrating contest into your classroom. So highly recommended. Um, those that's CTSO student leadership is one of the metrics is that we're going to do program reviews around. It's one of the metrics that sits in um, the WRI. It's it's just it's it's an expectation of you. Um, it's an expectation of your program, not just to register nationally, um, but to be involved in what we're doing. And so, um, underneath uh, this chapter advisor, um, there's some some great things. So they have some training for parliamentary procedure. They talk about how to choose competitions for your students. Um, they have creating a program of work, electing officers, advisor appreciation stuff. Um, but what I was going to focus in on for you guys is there's these monthly warm up challenges. And I'm going to click on this download button. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this. I hope so. But what the what TSA is trying to do here is they're going to roll out each month from September through June. Um, they're going to post on its website five middle school and five high school warm-up challenges. So these are things you could use in your classes. Bell ringers, you could do this in a virtual format. Um, but they're going to have these warm-up challenges. Um, these challenges are engaging, fun, encouraging to members to think creatively about TSA competition. So it's getting kids used to competing in contests. It's getting them ready to, to do contests for both the, the spring leadership and the national events. Um, they will submit their entries. Um, they could submit all five entries. They could submit one entry, but it to nationals and get judged. Um, and they'll get recognized for it. So it's just, it's just another tool that you guys have in your uh, tool bag for this year um, to help you out in whatever format you're in. Um, so the other piece that I wanted to show you is they are going to have, and they don't have them yet. Um, but they are going to have these things called online pop-up events. And so the national officers are really working hard. Um, and some of this might be uh, a, T a TED's talk from an industry partner or a virtual industry tour or other things like that. So be watching. I'm going to monitor this and send out this information. Um, hopefully you guys can register so you can take acts or take advantage of this. Um, the other piece that they've done, is they've created a student membership. So as soon as you put your students in, they have access to some of these same things and they can, they can come out and help them with leadership training and, it can, and that helps them with um, responsibilities of being a TSA member. So this is helping you integrate this into your classroom. So take full advantage of this, but the only way to take full advantage of this is to register your um, chapter. So I'm gonna stop sharing this screen and I'm gonna go back to my PowerPoint. All right, so those are the resources that we have for you. Those are the things that we're trying to do to help you out this year. Um, so hopefully you find them helpful. Hopefully the Gears funds, we're looking at a, a whole slew, probably about 10 different things that have online resources, access to industry certifications, training modules, all sorts of stuff. So. Um, be paying attention to your emails as they come out in the next few weeks. Um, there should be some information along that. Just a couple of other things, teacher organizations, uh, other professional organizations that can offer resources for you. At the state level, we have two. Um, and Lloyd Sherwood is going to be reaching out to you um, here in the next week or so to kind of get a TEAI. We're trying to rebuild our Technology Education Association of Idaho Teacher Group. We want you guys to be active. We want you guys to be uh, participating, helping each other out. And this is the organization to do it. And Lloyd Sherwood is the president, and he's working hard to provide some good information and some good, 
good stuff for you, so be paying attention to emails that might come out from him. Uh, CTEI is our statewide run uh, teacher organization, and the links are here. This PowerPoint will be uploaded uh, along with these, this video, so you'll have access to this, but you can go to cte.idaho.org. Um, that's our statewide membership. You can you become a member. You get access to some of their resources that they have out there on their website. I'm not going to go out to those pages. Um, this is just here for your information. Uh, nationally, we have ACTE. Hopefully, all of you guys are members of ACTE. Uh, there's lots of great benefits there. Uh, there's lots of great resources there. They do a ton of research for us. They're an advocate for for Perkins at the national level. Um, the other one that TEAI is the subset of is ITEEA, and that's where our engineering by design curriculum comes from. They're updating their standards, and so those are going to come out this year. Uh, so we'll have some new standards and possibly a new way to create a, a good pathway for the tech ed clusters. Um, so we'll be talking about that in the future as I get those and looking at that kind of development. But there's another org that you can join that has a lot of good. Uh, it has a a whole forum of teachers across the nation and posting up lessons and other things to help you, <clears throat> you know, troubleshoot and go through these times. So lots of resources. Mostly I always want to highlight resources for you so that you know what's out there. There's some opportunities, things that you can use for this year as we go forward. So again, if you need uh, to contact me, uh, my information hasn't changed. It's still just my title. So I am the Assistant Director of Program Quality. That is my title, um, but I still oversee ETE. Uh, so you can reach me at justin.touchdown at cte.idaho.gov, um, or you can call me at my direct line, 208-429-5524. Looking forward to a great year. I know it's going to be challenging. It's going to have its own set of uh, things to overcome, but uh, we're stronger together, and we can overcome, and we'll have a great year and do great things for our students in the state of Idaho. Thank you for taking some time and spending it with me today. Uh, and I'm looking forward to um, a great year together as we move forward. Thank you.